Hello, my name is Michelle Hull. Today we will be exploring how to create a landing page using Blogger and Google Slides with Bitmojis. It is an online program that can be used to present content for discussion. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up card in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with Blogger with Bitmoji. You will want to have the Bitmoji app on your phone. So if you do not have the Bitmoji app um, already on your phone, please uh, download the app to your phone, then design your avatar with features and fashion accessories. Then click on the share option within the Bitmoji app and select the email option and email the Bitmoji to yourself. Download your Bitmoji to your computer so you will have it to insert into your Google Slide Deck later. Okay, let's open up uh, Google Slides and you will need to add a blank slide by going to Slides. Click on new, new Slide and you will open the new slide and you will clear off the text boxes by selecting them and hitting delete. Next, you will go to insert and then you would click on search the web images and then search the web. And then when you get to search the web over here, you will type in walls and floors with transparent backgrounds PNG and then you would select the image that would appear for your classroom and you would continue the same process for your furniture and other accessories for your classroom. As you select the items for your classroom, you can change the size and the scale and place them around your slide as you wish for your classroom. Now you can download your Bitmojis that you emailed to yourself from your phone by going to insert image upload from the computer. You would then go and select them from your downloads. And then you can change the size and scale of your Bitmojis so they'll fit in your classroom. Uh, try to make sure you adjust them larger than the furniture. Also, you can use the uh, extension for Bitmoji and you can select your avatar or Bitmoji from the extension by clicking on it and then dragging it in to your slide and then dropping it. You can then adjust the size of your Bitmoji. Pixlar.com select Pixlar E and then open the image that you have just selected the background and cleared the background. You remove the background from that image. We are going to then duplicate the background by selecting the three dots and then selecting the two overlapping squares and that would duplicate your background. As you can tell, I have moved my background so you can see that it does not hide the second layer I have here, hide my image. Now on the second image, I've used this to change the color of the background. You can come over here and select the color that you wish and click OK and then click the fill bucket 
And when you click the fill bucket, you can click on the area you want filled with that color. You can also select the shape tool and the shapes appear up at the top. You can select which shape you want. Make sure if you want to fill the area, you have the fill on and the color selected. You would then go and draw over the area with your shape by dragging your cursor across and it will create the shape and it will also fill in with that color. And that is how I altered the images that appear in what we call the layers area that you see. In the slide deck, I also created an image where I also cropped the image. And you can crop the image by selecting this tool right here. You first would select that image and then select the crop tool to crop what you've needed once you've completed all that you want to do to your image. To finish out the landing page, which is your first slide, we're going to add images in to link to the other slides. To create these, I use several options, one of which I use the insert image and search from the web as we did earlier with the transparent background PNG. I also did the same thing using the ULR Google search. I went ahead and typed in what I needed and then I also typed in transparent background PNG and I saved the image as a download. You can also screenshot just around the image that you need if you have it saved on something else that you have done prior. That is how I created these images up on the screen. I also use the text and type the text into these shapes I created with the shape tool which is on your toolbar and you just select shape and you select the desired shape you need. You can also go over here and change the line thickness and the color. You created the images that you are going to use for your, your links within your slide deck. You can link them by selecting them, selecting the insert link, and then once you select the insert link, it'll appear and it will say something like per, uh, from the presentation. And then you would select which slide that you wish to link that item to. And you would continue this with each one of these images. One of the things that you need to be aware of is if you are linking uh, words or text, you need to select all of this and either group them together or choose if you're going to select the shape, which I have done here, instead of the text. So if you were just going to link the shape, you would click on the shape and then you would lick, you would select from the presentation and of course I selected slide three. If you are doing the text, you need to select the text before you link it to another slide or it will add in the link behind the text. Your slide deck is complete. Go to the ULR and type in blogger dot com. Sign in with your G Gmail account. Go ahead and select new blog. Okay. And here is the new blog. And once you click on the new blog, you will want to create a title for your blog. And then when you have that complete you will go to the two arrows that are like V's here 
and make sure you're on the HTML view. You'll go back to your slide deck and you will then click on share. Click if you haven't already click on oricountyschools.net. Click on the blue lettering and then you will go to copy link and then done. Then you will come to the white area of the blog, so you need to go back to Blogger. And in this big open space here, you will paste your link. Okay, and it'll come up with this code. You can then click on Preview to see what it would look like. And then if it's okay with you, you can then publish it. If you would like to add another post, you would click on post and then you would give it a title as well. And you would then make sure that you have your HTML selected here. So then you can come to this video insert and add in your video either from the computer or from YouTube. Um, this here will, will be the video that I'm creating for this presentation. Once you have uploaded your video from your computer or from YouTube and you've added it here in this open space, make sure you publish it after you proof, proof it by hitting preview. Make sure all of the pages within your blog are published so the public can view what you have created. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources and see what else is going on at Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Dear Dis on social media and contact us via email or our blog.